Yo, yo, everybody, it's uh, Jack here at 360 Fitness, and uh, I wanted to shoot a quick little video uh, while I was doing my cool down today after an awesome workout uh, here in Red Deer. Uh, so, one of our long term uh, awesome Red Deer clients came up to me today during my workout uh, during one of my rest parades. She came up and said, Oh, that's so awesome to see you <laughs> working out here, too. It's kind of like you guys practice what you preach, and I said, Absolutely, we do. And she said, uh, Well, you guys, you've been open a long time. How long have you been doing this? And I said, Well, We've been open for seven years, but I've been training, you know, somewhat with knowledge for about uh, 10 to 11 years. Probably only about uh, seven, eight of that when I knew actually what I was talking about, what I was doing, just kind of learning on the fly. But one thing she said to me was, so after all these years, you probably have to do some, some crazy stuff, you know, change up all your workouts, do some, uh, some pretty advanced techniques. And I said, what do you mean by that? She's like, well, you know, to hit all your muscles differently because they're used to all the workouts. And I said, that is more <laughs> farther from the truth than anything else is that usually the longer you're working out, it doesn't mean that you have to get more crazy with your exercise selection. It doesn't mean that you have to complicate things. It doesn't mean that you have to have all these ridiculous programs, you know, where you're doing a lunge and then a into a hip thrust, into a burpee, into a bicep curl with your pinkies up and you have to close one eye and then breathe heavy and it doesn't make any sense. I am doing the same exercises that I was doing 10 to 11 years ago. I'm squatting, I'm hip hinging, I'm pushing and I'm pulling and I'm using dumbbells and I'm using barbells and I'm using kettlebells. Nothing fancy. I don't need a fancy new machine. I don't need a fancy new workout. I don't need a fancy new program. I don't need to twist my pinkies up and then turn to the left and smile and all these stupid things that you see on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube channels nowadays. They are lying to you if they're saying it's complicated so it's more effective. First and foremost, that means they don't know what they're talking about and that they kind of like get you involved in their program because it's fancy and because it's more or less a new infomercial on the block. Here at 360, you know, we have 30 staff, over 20 of them are trainers. We have almost 100 years experience as one big team. And you know what our team really preaches? Is the five fundamental movements to the same people with the same experience. It doesn't matter whether you are an 85 year old person, never seen a dumbbell in your life before, or an 18 year old elite hockey player, you should be hinging deadlifting, squatting, pushing, and pulling. And then your program just becomes better at doing those five movements. Sure, you can have some variations in there, but don't overthink it, okay? So guys, I really wanted to hammer that home is that the longer you're working out, don't get away from the basics. Don't get bored, trust the process, and you'll see amazing results. Focus on the big picture here. Uh, and, uh, I'd like to do more of these videos. You know, I have awesome conversations that are members and trainers every single day here uh, in a Red Deer and Shepherd Park locations. And if you guys want to see more videos like these uh, during my cool downs where I kind of uh, retro reflect on, on what I've been doing, what our team's been doing, you know, any tips on workouts, health, fitness, all that fun stuff, just uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Have a kick ass day.